Hi there, welcome to Cooking with Dan. Today we're going to be cooking a really amazing confit uh, fish dish. This is a cooking technique which I've used for years and years and years. It's a really interesting one where we submerge the, the fish that we're using, which is a beautiful sea trout, into a Borderfields uh, cold-pressed British rapeseed oil. So the health benefits of uh, the oil is absolutely fantastic. It's really, really high in uh, omega-3s, omega-6s and omega-9s. Um, if you're a vegetarian or a vegan, um, and you're not keen on eating fish, uh, this is one of the best sources of getting those vitamins and nutrients in, into your system. Um, so first things first with this one is we have to salt the trout. Um, it's a very, very, very oily fish, very dense, um, and we need to take a little bit of that moisture out just to compact it and make it um, so that when it confies down in the oil, it's, it just melts and flakes away um, really beautifully. So what we have made here is a salt, which has got lots of dill and lots of lemon. Um, and we've mixed it with a little bit of sugar as well. So we take the fish fillet and we just put the salt all around, really, really just gently massage that into the fish. This is gonna make the fish really aromatic and fragrant. Just give it loads and loads and loads of flavor, which is what we're looking for. It's quite an interesting combination, this, this, this dish. We're gonna be pairing it with uh, a chorizo. Meat and fish combinations are something that I really, really, really love doing. Um, they might come across and sound a little bit peculiar, um, but when you have such a rich fish like this, you need something to help cut through cut through its richness and the chorizo has got a really amazing spice which helps do that. So once the fish is completely compacted in that salt, we leave it for half an hour and then we give it a really good wash off, pat it dry. While we're waiting for that to, uh, to salt, Adam is uh, over here, is preparing um, an avocado puree which is gonna go with this dish. For this, dead easy, we just peel and dice down all of the avocados like so. And we're gonna blend that and emulsify it with some of this beautiful rapeseed oil as well. Ready to go. So into our blender. All ready to go, mate? Yeah, there's one left. Nicely done. You can keep that half like that. Just place all of that. This takes absolutely no time at all. So on we go. Strap it on. So as that starts to uh, come down, we're gonna season it up with salt and lemon just to get it to a really beautiful, smooth consistency. So, as you can see here, all the avocado there has been blended down. It's beautiful and smooth, it's lovely and glossy. It's gonna have awesome, awesome richness to it as we've used the rapeseed oil to emulsify that all together. You need to go onto the shopping board here, please. Yeah. <clears throat> Next part of uh, the dish that we're going to prepare is the chorizo element for it. When you're looking for a really, really good quality chorizo, you're looking for the colour. As you can see with this one here, we've got an amazing, rich, dark red colour. 
a lovely little bit of fat going through there as well. We're just going to take this and cut some little bacon lardons out of it. Always make sure with chorizo as well that you get this skin that encases it. You do not want that getting stuck in between your teeth halfway through eating it. So you take that all out there. Cut these down into little lardons. The smell that comes off the chorizo is already making me feel hungry. And all we're gonna do with this is render render it down, which basically means to extract the fat out of the chorizo. We're going to use that later on in the dish as well. So into a nice warm pan, you just pop that into there. To give it a little help in hand, we take our awesome rapeseed oil and we just let that warm through together. Our sea trout, which is being marinated, get rid of all that please mate. And all we're gonna do here now, is just take this little bit of bloodline out, straight off the fish. And cut it down into portions. Now this is a cooking technique and fish that's been it's quite a, a modern way of, of cooking the fish. But definitely something that you should give it a go trying it at home. So, we pop that now into our oil. Again, this is rapeseed oil that we are cooking in. Again, rapeseed oil's got a real awesome nutty flavor which complements the fish and the chorizo really, really, really well. And all we do is just pop that into there, 42 degrees. We then leave that to comfy for 12 minutes. 42 degrees is the absolute optimum temperature where the proteins and the fish will set and cook. And then it will just flake away like perfectly cooked fish should look. Okay. Um, We've also got a real interesting, got a mixing bowl there, please, mate. A real interesting uh, grain here, which is quinoa. This is very, very similar to couscous, but for me, quinoa's got a much more interesting flavor uh, and the texture is just phenomenal. So this has been cooked in a little stock. You just boil that for 12 to 15 minutes until it goes translucent. Let me take some of that there. Season this with our salt. Take a mix of some Mediterranean vegetables, which we've roasted off. Let's stir this together. Some lovely fresh radish. This is gonna give the dish a real amazing texture and heat. And this time we're going to be using a lemon infused rapeseed oil. Again, we're just going to use this as a seasoning and a dressing. No mess, no faff. Just spray and go. Before serving this, we need to be leaving this for around three or four minutes just to uh, let allow all those um, amazing flavors to infuse. We'll let that lemon oil go to work on seasoning everything through. We'll take another element of avocado. We're gonna do avocado a couple of different ways on this dish. It's not staying on. There we go. 
as you can see here with the fish as it's starting to uh, starting to cook, you start to see the uh, color of the fish change. It starts to go like this amazing sort of opaque color. And as you feel that, as you're squeezing, you can feel just how the fish is firming up. And what we're looking for is just as you squeeze it there is those flakes to start to separate. And that's exactly what they're doing. It's gonna give that a couple more minutes just to finish off. Sounds like it's working now, Adam. Yep. So we just pop this back over here. As you can see now, the chorizo is already starting to change the color of the rapeseed oil to that real amazing pinky, smoky. Oh, it's just amazing to smell that. Delicious. And that's what we're looking for there. Do not allow this to get too hot, otherwise it's gonna take, for the flavor of the chorizo, it's gonna make it really, really, really bitter. So you just gently, 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 and you can already see the amount of oil that's come out of that pan there. You can use that, pop that in a bottle and spray it all over something that, a nice piece of bread. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. So, start with the avocado puree. Just give our quinoa a taste. That's really started to take on that real amazing lemon flavor. What we're gonna do now is make a little roll with the avocado. Start with that on there. A little bit of rock salt. Some lemon juice. Awesome, mate. Do you want to pass them over here? Take our quinoa mix. Place that. Board. Thank you very much, Adam. In there. Place another sheet of avocado over there. So I'm going to just put a nice selection of the uh, different leaves in a little bowl or pot, Adam. Some lovely spring onion. Some more of our peppery radish. These just give the dish a real fantastic kick of heat and texture. Take our chorizo oil. On there like that. Our lardons. Awesome. Do you want to give them a little spray with the lemon oil, lad? Yes. We're taking our beautiful sea trout now. And as you can see, the color of that's completely changed. It's really firmed up. And as you can just start to pull that apart, uh, it's just absolutely cooked perfectly. Again, to give this one a little bit more of a smoky flavor to it, we're gonna take our blowtorch. We're just gonna... Reseal the fish. Put that on there. See them with a little bit of lemon juice. Take our Vita Greens.
And there we have our Comfit Sea Trout. Comfit in amazing rapeseed oil, avocado and chorizo.